Hi there. If you joined us at our copying cards, you know how fun it was to make this really sweet gift card holder with just a little extra fold and these great coordinating products, you can create a really sweet card. And the number one gift is almost always gift cards during the holiday seasons. So how great is this? Join us and see how fun it is to create it. And then don't miss us. We're on Facebook Lives as well as Coffee and Cards and a full selection of card making classes waiting for you. I hope to see you soon. To tell you that I love a good gift card holder is an understatement. So you can see here the sweet coffee cup mug or hot cocoa or tea if you want it to be foam. Um, it was so easy to create at our recent Coffee and Cards. So here, with a simple extra fold and punch, we're able to create this really great little gift card holder. And with the number one gift being gift cards during the holidays, this makes so much sense for those teachers in your lives and the coworkers. I mean, I know for my husband's business, um, I give all of his coworkers and employees um, coffee cards. So it's kind of fun. I'm gonna show you how to do this simple extra um, fold with our Stampin' Trimmer. Oopsies. Okie dokie. So with our Stampin' Trimmer, the one of the things I love about it, it has a score blade as well as a cutting blade inside. Let's see if I can back it out just a smidge. There we go. We're gonna take our real red cardstock here, and I like to feel the corners and feel for a lip. That lip is gonna decide that goes down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to score at five and a half, and Darker color, darker pressure. It means it's gonna cut. Lighter color, lighter pressure, it's going to score. So I'm gonna pull my cutting blade down here at the bottom so that you can't see it. Now we're gonna take the score blade and let's see if I can move this up just a smidge. It looks like my kid's stuff is rolling into mine. So what we're gonna do is score at five and a half and then again at two. And two is gonna become our pockets. Make sure it's lined up. We have a great track on this, and it makes it easy. Now, I'm gonna create two cards at the same time. So I'm gonna flip my card over and cut it at four and a quarter. That's half of eight and a half by 11 inches. Darker color, darker pressure. And then you end up with a perfectly scored and ready to go card. And you have two you can work with right away. Okay, so what we're going to do is take the one inch circle punch, and we're gonna punch a little notch just like so, about halfway in. Now you can use something with these, I'm sure, but I don't have the time to do that. So let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Here we go. Okay, then we're gonna use our bone folder, which I'm grabbing right here, and we're gonna score along the score line. So we're gonna fold here and then bone it, using the folder to crisp the edge. And then we're gonna take and fold this as well. And I like to do it from behind because when you do it from behind, your um, score line sometimes leaves a little shiny spot like that. You can see that shine. That will be on the back of your card, so it won't be distracting to the front of your card. Super easy, right? Now, with the Merry Cafe stamp set, I love it. It's in our holiday catalog at this time, coordinating with our Coffee Cafe stamp set. We're gonna actually use the steam top right here, um, hot whipped cream, cream, steam, foam, however you wanna look at it. And we're gonna use the Merry Cafe. I love that there's coordinating projects that cover the, all of the seasons. Now, with the Merry Music, I believe that's what it's called. It is Merry Music Specialty Design Series paper. It is all full of music sheets in black and white, wonderful holiday patterns, easy to use. So we're going to use that to die cut with the Coffee Cafe Framelits, the little coffee cup. Actually, it's the big coffee cup. And we die cut the black designer series paper version of the Merry Music in our Big Shot, super easy. We're also gonna use our alphabet dies. And the reason I love my alphabet dies is it makes it so I can create any kind of card. The big, wonderful dies. And you can order yours, easy peasy, right on my blog. But I use the C to create a handle, as you can see here, in the real red cardstock. Easy peasy. I love it when a card comes together, super fun. We're gonna use the glue dots. And I'm gonna pull it back and I'm gonna look for the shiny dot, just like that. I'm gonna put it on the front of the C. And when you use it directly to the paper, you don't get stickies on your fingers. 
There you go. And if you see it's a little bit hanging over, oops, right here, I just tuck it up. So I'm going to put my glue dots aside and I'm going to place it like so. And it becomes a fun red handle on this great musical note card. Then what we're going to do is we're going to stamp and fussy cut our foam. Here I use the crumb cake ink pad and the foam from the coffee cafe or whipped cream, however you want to look at it. And it can become a great um, hot cocoa card or any of that. How easy is this? So using our paper snips, which come with a great cover, um, I carry them with me everywhere. They're super sharp on the end. It's gonna make it easy to do fussy cutting off of this Whisper White cardstock and the crumb cake. Accessing this really sweet designer series, or uh, stamped paper is so easy to do. I love it. You almost wanna taste it, but it's calorie free here, so it's perfect, right? Then we're going to flip our coffee cup a card over. Every Wednesday we get together and we create cards at Ragamuffin Coffee Roasters, a local coffee house here in the Caneo Valley, um, Newberry Park, California. Caneo Valley is our valley um, and the city is in Newberry Park, which the coffee house is in. Um, and I do place the dimensional adhesives right over the connecting um, two pieces. It's gonna give it additional support. And the reason I use four is I wanna make sure it's really gonna stand up to the card. We're also gonna take and flip that over. We're gonna place it on the deck the halls. Let me look for a piece I have in mind. Here we go. I love how it says fa la 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 la. <laughs> I cannot sing, I'm gonna be honest. But I sing with passion. Does that count for anything? I don't know if it does. So this is super cute and easy to do. I'm gonna close my crumb cake, um, folding it there. Tuck that aside. Then we're gonna use dimensionals on the back of the foam whipped cream. We're gonna place two of them. So one and two. And then I'm gonna tuck it into the cup. This way I know exactly where my foam is going to be. Then we're gonna take our card that is folded and scored and ready to go. And we're gonna use the tear tape. The tear tape is this great adhesive backed tape that you can tear. And I'm gonna place it on the small side right along the edge. And I'm gonna tear it, boop. And if you do it just this perfect way, then it will fit most gift cards and business cards. So if you're giving somebody a gift card from somewhere, sometimes they're the size of business cards. Well, most of them are. So then I remove the tear tape backing. It's super strong. It's great for 3D projects like boxes and um, things that are gonna get moved around a lot. And I'm gonna place it like this and just rub it. You can use your bone folder just to make sure it has a good connection. And that whole punch is gonna make it so that you can um, place the gift card in and access it pretty easily. It tucks right in. Look at that, isn't that a great idea? Okay, so what we're gonna use is our Fast Fuse Adhesive. I'm gonna turn this over. One, two. When you use Fast Fuse, you do a little check mark. And then on the inside, I need a nice liner. So this is a piece of uh, Whisper White cardstock at four inch by five and a quarter. And what I'm going to do is place it down without adhesiving it yet. And now I know that there's a window here that I can stamp. Using the Merry Cafe, I took the three word sex here, sections, a cup of Christmas cheer, and we're going to stamp that in the real red ink pad. Pat it, don't dig it in, and then I'm gonna see right where I wanna place that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. A cup of Christmas chair is perfectly acceptable. You can give somebody this with um, a gift card or a dining place for a coffee house, you name it. Then we're gonna take the Fast Fuse Adhesive and do a line check, a line check, a little dash, and a dash check. I put my finger on the adhesive so I know right where it's gonna go. It's gonna hold on so in case I drop it. And then I line up one side. You may not be able to line up the whole card, but it's pretty forgiving when you place it down. 
And then you close your card and you have a little interactive gift card holder. Easy to do, so much fun. We had a blast creating these at the Coffee and Card House um, class every Wednesday. And then you guys get to join us virtually. A cup of Christmas cheer. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out the full tutorial on my blog right here at gettingcraftystampin.com or gettingcrafty.net. And then join us every Monday. We do a fun live. We have a full selection of card classes waiting for you. And you too can give a warm beverage without any mess. I hope you enjoy it. And this fits perfectly inside of an envelope. Isn't that wonderful? Thanks for joining me. Have a great one.